cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Bake with me. Gigi's just gluten free. Chat with me. Gigi's gluten free. Cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Chat with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've never been to the channel before, I welcome you with open arms. This channel right here is all about gluten free and everything that you can eat, everything that you can try, everything that you can buy. We do a, a few challenges, mukbangs, we do recipes, product reviews, and recipes and tonight we are doing a few product reviews we have a few product reviews tonight and i think you're gonna be happy because you're gonna be in for a treat hey hey cook with me Gigi's gluten free welcome to the lab kingdom boy cook with me Gigi's gluten free welcome to the lab DMV Dining Diva, welcome to the lab. Welcome to the lab. Hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome to the lab. Peter Lamford, welcome to the lab. Hey, hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome to the lab. Davos Glad Titan. Hey, hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome to the lab. She waters creative circle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've never been here before, you are in for a treat. We are going to have a great time tonight. And yes, DMD Diamond Diva, we want to be happy. We want to be prancing around. We want to have our nose in the air because guess what? We are are beautiful inside and out that's right that is right so yes we are getting ready to do quite a few product reviews guys i've been doing a whole bunch of cooking but i want to show you some of the products that i use to make these recipes come out so beautiful and then also i was introduced to a new product one of the subscribers, he kept reminding me to try this different chef. This chef has a line of butter. Yes, and I was in Sam's Club today and ran up on it. This is it. And guys, I can't say I cheated on you guys today because I have already <laughs> tried all the products. I have tried everything already. And if you know me, if you see me try some of these products, I give my honest opinion, whether good or bad on these products. And mm, 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 that's all I can say. I can eat the same thing twice. I'll put it like that. I'm going to save the review for when we do the thing. That's right. So tonight we are having beef brisket gluten-free beef brisket already made guys all i had to do is put that gg's barbecue sauce on it that's all i had to do okay <laughs> hey tonight we are gonna make my the way i do potato salad yes we're gonna do that tonight and pretty much we're gonna chit chat and all of that but we're gonna enjoy some beef brisket gluten-free Bought it at Sam's Club. Did not have to do no smoking at all. Your girl sitting here chilling tonight. Oh, so you love potato salad, DMD, Diamond Diva. I can't have barbecue without potato salad, Diva. Diva, I cannot have barbecue without potato salad. That is a deal breaker for me. Potato salad or some good, good coleslaw, which I make my own 
both of them. I don't buy no buckets out of the grocery store. You got a lot of people, they buy the buckets and they doctor it up. Nah, not me. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Peter Lanford, LOL, I want some chicken. Oh, really? Hey, hey, cook with me. GG's gluten free. Welcome to the lab, the 48. I guess you saw the thumbnail, the 48. Yes, I have Chef Shammy's butter in the building. I have the garlic, parmesan, and basil. That's right. This butter is so bomb, y'all. When I make this sandwich, you're going to be like, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So we are going to get started. I have uh, parboiled our potatoes and our eggs just to save some, some time. And so we're going to get started. Yes, Peter Lampert, I have uh, viewed that video at least four times. I love the Daniel Caesar cover. It is awesome. You have an awesome voice. I can tell that you work really hard on your craft and you are going to be super successful, guy. You're humble and you are great at what you do. So without further ado, we are going to get started with our potato salad. I do a few a few things that may be a little uh, non-traditional, but it hey, it's the way I prepare my potato salad, okay? It's the way I prepare mine. So guys, sit back, relax, and get ready, because we're about to do it. Hey, hey, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to cook for you. I came to cook for you. Yeah, so we're going to get started. And we're going to get to cooking. Let's get started right now. I got a problem with my tablet. I might just have to be done with that for the night. But um, everybody knows that if you come by here, I love onions. And I love green onions. I love regular onions. Yeah. I love them, love them, love them. Hey, hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Hey, welcome to the live, Tika and Nika TV. And then next we have two stalks of celery. We have our red peppers. We have our orange and our yellow. And then we have our regular Valdelia onion. Right, we are going to take all of these vegetables, slice them, saute them and then i'll show you what we're going to do next so give me a quick second we're going to saute all of these vegetables really 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 quick just take those heads off right quick slice them I love green onions. Some people don't like the texture of onion. Some people, they'll take onions if they chop fine. But one thing that I found, that people will eat your potato salad if you saute the vegetables. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. And this is something that I do. And even though my mom doesn't like onions, she doesn't mind because I always saute them. So they have a totally different texture guys totally different uh the 48 i've seen that i haven't tried that kind i've only tried the french onion and the cinnamon brown sugar yeah the 48 they were out of all the flavors except for the cinnamon and brown sugar and the one that i had hey hey cook with me Gigi's gluten free welcome to the lab trucking along with kiersey welcome to the lab sis it's good seeing you. Hey, hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome to the lab, Iris Bradley. Hey, hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome to the lab, peace, love, and hope. Hey, hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Yeah, guys. We are cooking something tonight. 
we are the only thing we really doing is putting our potato salad together because like i told you this brisket came pre-made and as you can see i cheated on you i have already opened it and i have tried it and it's fully cooked guys this is some great beef brisket and i found it at sam's club yes Woo. i am so happy because it was it was cloudy today and it was a little drizzly, so I could not get out on the grill, but it did not stop me from having some grilled food. And I will give my full review sure, when we get to it. But yeah, guys, I'm telling you, when you find a shortcut in the kitchen, when I find one, I kind of stick with it for a while. Yeah, that's how I do it. You may do it different, but when I find a shortcut, I stick with it. Yep, I stick with it. Um, guys, people are are out moving around, but they are being a little bit more cautious. I, I believe, from what I can see today, I can tell that people are trying to be more cautious and more cognizant of how they carry themselves. The kids are wearing masks and people are masked up. They have their gloves on. And I felt pretty good being out for the period that I was out today. Had to go out and get a few things. Try to go out once a week to get the stuff that I need. Oh, they're not. Peace, love, and hope. Where are you? You say they're not being cautious where you are. I'm not happy hearing that. So... When I chop this celery, I kind of like try to chop it a little small on the celery. All of it, ain't none of it hard. It's just patience. Have a little patience when you get in the kitchen and you, your, your dishes will come out great. Peace, love, hope. Oh, Southwest Virginia. Okay. Hey, hey, cook with me, Gigi's gluten-free. Welcome to the lab, Edward Smart. Welcome to the lab. I appreciate you coming in, sir. It is a pleasure having you here tonight. We're just chopping our vegetables so we can get ready to saute them and prepare our potato salads. That's right, guys. Um... Typically, um, you could take your potatoes and uh, what I do is I boil mine and then I refrigerate them because I like for everything to be cold when I mix it and I still place it back in the refrigerator. Uh, Peace, love, and hope. They, they like a handful of people and then Food City seems to be uh, sticking with masks and stuff so that my place... That's my place at home. There's like a handful of people and then Food City seems to be sticking with masks and stuff. So that's my place at home. Oh, okay. Okay. So that one is a pretty decent place to go and shop at. Yeah. I'm in a pretty big city, but at first people weren't taking it serious, but I think it's hitting home now. So they're doing a little better. Yeah, I think it's hitting home. Sometimes it takes people to actually experience uh, negativity and, and loss before they wake up. And I think they woke. I, 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 at least I hope they are. I hope they are woke. Because what we're dealing with is definitely nothing to play with. It's definitely nothing to play with. Yep, so we're just chopping these vegetables. I like a lot of vegetables in mine. And when you saute them, they kind of, they wither away a little bit. So if you kind of just fill it up, fill it up. Yeah. So I, I boil the potatoes for 
If you buy these red, nice um, red potatoes, they don't take forever to boil. 20 to 30 minutes, you boil your eggs. About 15 to 20 minutes, depending on if you bought your eggs fresh or not. Fresh eggs tend to cook faster. That's just my experience. Could be different for you. And uh, if you're new to the channel, um, I've gone been on this gluten-free journey for almost eight years and as a result of that I've tried a lot of products I've tried some that worked I've tried some that were horrible okay <laughs> so I'm here to try it before you buy it uh-huh the 48 I get tired of seeing empty shelves in stores that gets boring I would like to walk in the store and actually see a full shelf right I have seen um certain stores with certain areas of the store uh, the shelves are pretty empty however i've also like i was in sam's today and they had plenty of the things that you couldn't find other places like toilet tissue paper towels all of that stuff all the toiletries they were really stocked up but they had signs everywhere they, they had limits on what you could buy even in the meat department you could only buy one of each meat like you can buy one roast, one brisket, one pack of chicken, one pack of ham. Yeah, only one. Hey, hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome to the lab. Be the difference clothing. Welcome to the lab. It is so glad. I'm so glad to see you be the difference because I, guys, I just left Be the Difference house. And her lives are so important, guys. If you haven't, you need to go watch some of the replays and start checking her channel out because that sister can drop you so many nuggets that you can need from starting a business, being positive, starting over, not looking back. I mean, she. I mean, I'm not trying to say what do it. I can't do it like her. You need to go over and watch for yourself. Be the difference clothing. And tomorrow, she's going to have um, her uh, weekly exercise. She call it the, the jiggle. That's right. That jiggle on point, guys. You need to get over there. I'm telling you. You do not want to miss the jiggle. <laughs> you don't want to miss the jiggle. The jiggle is all of that. All of that. So those are our vegetables. I don't think I'm going to use these two pieces. I'm not going to throw them away, though. You know I don't throw away nothing. So this is a few uh, Valdelia onion. So we're using two types of onions, right? And after we chop all of this, we're going to saute it. Because, like, some people don't like raw onions. I think that's what made me start sauteing it in the very beginning. People don't like the texture, and they definitely don't like them big. But when you saute them, all you get is the flavor. That's it. Hey, hey, that's why we're going to dance for joy. Hey, hey, cook with me. GG, gluten free. That's right. Joy is the bomb, y'all. And you got to get to her website and order some of her products. She has great products and they're responsibly made and they are beautiful and they are affordable. That's right. Get on over there and check her out. Check her out, check her out, check her out. So I'm going to take all of this and we're going to saute it. I want to keep some of my green onions as garnish. But you know how we do it over here. We, we do that onion thing big. That's right. We do it big. Just like that, guys. And I didn't waste any. I got it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to put a little seasoning on it. We're going to use a... This is Morton Sea Salt, guys. This is naturally gluten-free.
And then I use a little bit of black pepper, also gluten free. Everything here is gluten free, either naturally or made especially for us gluten free folk. And I have just a little bit of rice vinegar to sprinkle. Hey, hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Hey, hey, bake with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome to the lab, Satin. Welcome to the lab. I appreciate you coming in. Hey, hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome to the lab, Mama Dale. Tell Liddell I said hello. Hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. And also tell Sister Dale I said hello. Okay, just a little sprinkle of the rice vinegar. And like I said, this comes from Sprouts. And it is gluten free, guys. So, now we are going to saute our vegetables. It's simple, guys. All it takes is a little bit of prep. When you have a taste for a good meal, all you got to do is put your mind to it, make a shopping list if you don't have it all in the home so you don't leave out any of your ingredients. That's right. Yeah, so we are going to saute these vegetables just so that they won't be all crunchy and people will hate the texture don't take long at all i like the colors green yellow orange red white that's right that is all our vegetables and we're gonna saute them then we're going to come back and we will start our eggs and our potatoes. Like I said, we have pre-boiled all of our potatoes. And this is just going to be a small bowl of potato salad. Hey, 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 cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome to the lab, Deborah. Welcome to the lab. I appreciate you coming in, sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is always a pleasure. So the eggs, always add your salt while they're boiling. And when you if you refrigerate them, the shells will come off pretty easy. I have this thing where I'm so impatient, I be trying to rip the, the, the egg shell off. Yeah, I try to rip it off. But they come off really easy and then I rinse them off. After I take that shell off, I rinse them good. So that's one. See how easy? It just comes right on off. Because I refrigerate them after I boil them. Um, Mama Dale said, yes, because sometimes I be done rip them all up. Yeah, trying to get the shell off. <laughs> oh, Peter Lambert said, I had spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. It was good. Oh, yes, that sounds good. That sounds real good, Peter. Uh-huh. And so I, this is a small bowl, but I'm still going to put three eggs in there because I like a lot of eggs, guys. I, I just do. I don't have a reason why I just love a lot of eggs. Some people don't want eggs in their potato salad. And then you have people that don't want mustard in their potato salad. But that's just their preference. But I like them both. I like both. So that's all three of my eggs. They're ready. And I'm placing them on the side. And now I am going to cut my potatoes. And yes, I will leave the skin on my red potatoes. I love red potatoes, and I leave the skin on. I will just be cutting those little pieces off. 
Hey, hey, cook with me, Gigi's gluten-free. Welcome to the lab, a.k.a. James. Welcome to the lab. I appreciate you coming in. And guys, um, one more thing. I like ground celery seed. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ground celery seed. You see this? I've had this container about two years because it don't take a whole lot. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot at all. But you could, if you could smell the aroma from all of these vegetables, guys, you would be like really happy. I'm telling you, you really would. You really would. But yeah, these are our vegetables and we're going to put them in the refrigerator. As we prep the rest, as we prep everything else, we'll put those in the fridge. Yeah, put that in the fridge. Guys, I'm telling you, it's, it seems like a lot, but it really isn't. It's just, it's, it's simple. It's simple. And just like that, the skillet is clean. We clean it as we go. Yeah. We're going to refrigerate this. And now we are going to cut our potatoes. And I told you we are leaving the skin on. They're ready. Sorry, guys. Somebody don't want me to be great. I am so sorry. Um, uh, as I said, um, you can place, you can boil your potatoes for 20 to 25 minutes. Place the lid on them, cut them off, and keep them on the eye, and it will continue to cook for the remainder of the time. And once the water cools, pour it off and put them in the refrigerator and let them sit. Yep. So I take my time and cut my potatoes up. I don't like them really big, but I don't like them tiny. But I tell you what, they'll never be mushy if you do them that way. Never mushy. I believe um, that that interruption may have been my car pulling up outside. <laughs> the car may have, my phone may have transferred to the car. I apologize for that. But luckily I was able to come back in real quick. So how's everybody doing tonight? I hope that you are all great. Today is Monday, and I say it's a marvelous Monday because any day on this side, uh-huh, any day on this side is a day that I'm thankful for. That's right. Truly, truly thankful. So you see that? That's two potatoes, guys. It looked like it was not it wasn't gonna be much, right? Hey, 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 cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome to the lab. Pandies, hair candy, and more. Welcome to the lab. I appreciate you coming in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. That was a wonderful for pr premiere that you had earlier. Um Candy, that unit that you um, reviewed was awesome and it looked very beautiful on you because the wig does not make you, you made the unit. It was very beautiful, very beautiful, very beautiful. We getting our potatoes. And see, all of this is these are really small potatoes, but they make a lot. Mama Dale is speaking to Pandy. 
And yes, you are welcome, Pandy. Because what you're doing is trying those units before we buy them. You're giving your honest review on those units. Like I give an honest review on these products. And we appreciate that. Because I'm really, I'm real uh, picky when it comes down to units and stuff like that. And if I haven't uh, heard great things about it, I won't purchase it. But you, you're you not scared when it comes down to it. You go on and step out on faith and order those units. And twerk those units, girl. That's that's right. She wanted to speak to Pandy. Pandy is speaking to be the difference. So we almost have our potatoes cut. This is like super easy, super duper, duper duper. So then we are gonna place our potatoes. Potatoes in the bowl without losing any of them. Right. Boom boom. So now we have our red potatoes with skin on, guys. Skin on. We're gonna chop our three eggs. And I just like I like to make a big deal out of the way I prepare the potato salad because when I do that, it just comes out, it just tastes so much better. You know, when you don't throw food together, like I, I hear people say, I'm gonna ready to go home and throw something together. I can't do that. That's just not me. I can't throw food together. I got to fix it with love. Yes, I have to fix my food with love, guys. It tastes better. Your family will tell you. Now, I haven't I can't say that if you do a meal and you didn't really think a whole lot about it and you pretty much just used what you had and brought a great meal together, that's not that's not the same thing as throwing a meal together. Okay. Peter Lanford, you got me waiting. One, the sweet potato. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have we may have sweet potatoes tomorrow. I'm not sure, Peter. We'll see. But we're going to have vegetables. You know we got to do vegetables. Just like we do meat, we got to do vegetables. That's what we do here on the channel. We're going to spread it out. We do meat and we do vegetables. We got to mix it up. Mix it up. Diversify the palate. So these are the eggs. So, take our eggs and we're going to add them here. That's right. I don't know about y'all, but when I'm cooking, when I cooked on my truck, I always use gloves when I cook. At home, I don't use gloves, but I don't like to feel food on my hands. I'm real particular with feeling. I don't like to feel food on my hands. But at home, I just get right to it. The 48, I'm graduating this Saturday. I, I like give prayers to all the graduates and the people who are stuck in quarantine and is sick much prayer to all yes the 48 congratulations hold on for one second um when you go over to instagram please please send me your address this must not this might not be much but if you are graduating, guys, go to my Instagram and I will send you a little 
gift. It's just something to say congratulations. Congratulations on a job well done. Graduations are very, very important moments in life. And just because we're going through what we're going through, we're not going to shelf the graduation. We're going to celebrate however we can. We can be creative as possible here on YouTube, in our homes, in our neighborhoods. Congratulations to all 2020 graduates. Whether you have a grandchild, it's you, your spouse, your coworker. Congratulations to all the 2020 graduates. So go over to um, Instagram, Gigi's Gluten Free Lab and send me your address and I will send you your gift. That's right. So yes, we have our eggs and our potatoes. So now we are gonna add our relish, sweet relish guys. Some people like uh, dill relish, I like sweet relish. So we're gonna add our Sweet relish. Then I have my mayo. Yes. All natural 100% mayo. Gluten free. Whoa. Ha. That's all right. So, and then in this, I will add a sprinkle of black pepper. Just a sprinkle. And then I'm going to add mustard, guys, just a little bit. This is southern, southern. One squeeze of the Emeralds New York style deli mustard. Gluten-free, guys. So we're going to um, put this in the fridge in a second, but not yet. We're going to combine these ingredients right quick. Combine these ingredients, and then now we're going to add our vegetables. We're going to add our vegetables now. So that's all our vegetables. And now we're going to combine all of it. And because my potatoes aren't wet, this could last in the refrigerator the rest of the week, guys. You can put a little less mayo in it, or just say you added too much mayo, you can add another egg, or you can add another potato, and it will make it perfect. But pretty much, this is pretty much it. This is it. Some people put paprika on at the end. I don't care to do so. They've used the Spanish paprika, but that's not my thing. People do it, and then some people add, they slice another egg and lay it on top. But I like to put my green onions on top, just like that. And then I have my chives. And that is my garnish. And that is the potato salad. Now I'm about to chill it while we do the rest. Thank you, Mama Dell. So now we're going to clean up and we're going to do everything else, which is not a whole lot because we are about to hey hey cook with me Gigi's gluten free welcome to the live miss four roller sierra um the 48 i have to send you a picture of it on instagram but it's a lanyard it looks exactly like that black white grad oh okay 2020 grad well i want to send you one so send me your address so we got everything going on so now, this is just like super easy, guys. Super, super duper easy. Give me a second. Give me a second. 
guys, I am of a certain age, and sometimes I go into those little uh, flashes, and right about now is that time. <laughs> so I apologize if I seem a little off, but that's it. Give me a second. For some reason, my tablet keeps going offline and I don't know why. But I need to be able to see and communicate with you guys, so I have got to get it back running. I don't know. Having trouble. I'll get it. I'll come back to it. Be the difference. Oh, it's speaking to Miss Four Roller. Deborah's glad Tyler's speaking, Miss Four Roller. Miss Four Roller, Four Roller, Four Roller came in speaking to everyone, guys. Doing her thing as usual. I appreciate that. I thank God for her. So, what we have here is a Sadler Farms beef brisket, guys. You see it up there? You see it? It is gluten-free, guys. I told you I cheated, right? Yes, I'm doing a product review, Edward Smart, but I already tried the product. <laughs> I could not wait till tonight. Hey, hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten-free. Welcome to the lab, Candy Girl Gardener. Welcome to the lab. I appreciate you coming in. We are about to, all we have to do is warm this brisket, guys. This brisket comes fully cooked guys fully cooked and it is gluten free so i'm gonna make a sandwich yes i am going to make a sandwich that i will remember for a while <laughs> i'm gonna have to stay up tonight i'm gonna have to stay up tonight because i'm gonna be full tonight you know how i always pick over my food not tonight <laughs> not tonight just sit back and relax and enjoy as we warm up this brisket we're gonna add the Gigi's google free lab barbecue sauce to it yes guys i am a former food truck owner I have my own line of spices and sauces, and someday they will be released. Someday. We'll see. Maybe in the near future. Hmm. So this brisket, like I said, is fully cooked, and I like it when they leave some of the fat on it, and they did right. It's perfect, guys. So... This meat, um, it normally takes me 12 hours to smoke a brisket. All I had to do is walk into Sam's Club, purchase this, bring it home, and warm it up. <laughs> That's right. So here is the beef. I'm going to place it here. And then I'm going to add the sauce to it. Barbecue sauce. Can you see? I like we adding the sauce to it. Yep. And we're gonna pop it in the oven. Uh-huh. Just like that. I like a little sauce on mine. Uh-huh. Yep, we're gonna pop it in the oven. We pop it in the oven. We're gonna make our toast. We're about to make our toast. We're going to put it on 400 and get it started. And so that's two product reviews, guys. That's the brisket. Here's the butter. And then 
I'm going to show you the bread that I will be using. Okay, Pandy, that is fine. This is a company called Char. And this is the deli style sourdough bread. And you see how you make sandwiches with it? I'm going to use one slice. One slice instead of two. The 48. You don't have to send me one. I don't need it. There's people in the world that need it more than I do. Plus, I don't. I don't like giving out my personal information to my... Oh, come on, 48. I'm not crazy, but uh, it was just a gesture and something that I wanted to do nice for you. Don't don't group me with crazy people, please. I just want it to be nice, but I will give it to someone else. That's okay. That's fine. This is the sourdough bread, and I'm about to use Chef Sammy's... Uh, garlic butter with parmesan and basil all right so i'm going to cut the bread in half because i only want to eat one slice because i've cut back on the amount of bread that i eat so we're gonna put some of this butter on there and we're gonna toast it in the oven it don't take this toast long so we'll let the meat go for a while before we add our toast and i'm gonna come and converse with you guys for a few minutes as that meat warms up but guys i'm telling you if you are a meat eater which i know we have a lot of non-meat eaters here but if you are a meat eater that brisket is so well worth it and it's not expensive in fact it costs um it costs just about the same amount as a small cut of beef brisket and it's fully cooked peter lanford gg i took a nap i watched tv i played on my piano and i made dinner that's what i did today oh okay okay you had a full day candy girl gardier gardier um said free yep free uh-huh how you how you get being gluten free oh okay for eight or four for like seven years i was really really sick i had um very bad stomach pains could not digest my food could not have a um regular life i was in pain most of the time i masked it for a long time and i was misdiagnosed for like seven whole years and then 18, almost 18 years ago, I found out I was allergic to gluten that's uh, contained in wheat, rye, barley, and oats. Yeah. So I had to get on a special diet and it's become my lifestyle. And now I am totally gluten free. That's right. Totally gluten free. So in the beginning of my journey, this company right here had products on the market. However, they didn't taste that good. But um, as time passed and went on, they started playing with these products and they have really and truly, truly, thank you, Peter. They have improved these products so much. The 48, I'm not saying you crazy. I would have never said you crazy. All right, 48, I understand, I understand, but yeah. Yeah, I understand. We good. So I try a lot of products and sometimes people suggest products to me. Some people give me products, but I had to get tested. And yes, I was allergic to gluten. So I have a whole new lifestyle. My whole life is centered around making sure I use the right products in my hair, everything that I consume and just my whole lifestyle and my quality of life is rich because of that. I may never be rich in a sense of money and what society says is rich, but because I eat a good, healthy, gluten-free lifestyle, I have great gut health, so it makes me happy. That's why I'm always dancing and laughing and singing because food is a privilege, guys. I know it's a necessity, but it's a privilege. And when you can eat, and enjoy your food and feel good at the same time. I say it's a blessing. Candy girl, 
That's good. I have some problem with eating some food also, but never been tested. That's why I asked. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, it's a great, it's a good way, it's a good way to test yourself for the gluten intolerance or to see if you're allergic to gluten. What you can do, oh guys, I can smell that brisket already. Ooh, it's just that aroma. But what you can do is you can take gluten out of your diet for three weeks. During that second week, you're going to see a major change in your digestion and how you feel if you are allergic to gluten. And that's just a suggestion. You can't go and have a test done because things have changed. Because when I came down with it, they didn't have these tests readily available like they do now. A whole lot has changed in the gluten-free world. It's a billion, billions of dollars are being spent on research and products. So now you can live a healthy, healthy, clean lifestyle, gluten-free, just like everybody else. Okay, thank you, Peter. So I'm going to add the bread. Hold on. Because it doesn't take long at all. It doesn't take long for that meat to warm up at all. I'm telling you, I... Came home from the store and I had every, every intentions on waiting to the show to try that product, but I could not wait, y'all. I had to cheat on y'all. Uh, be the difference. Clothing said hi at the 48. Candy Girl Gardiner said, uh, yeah, she wanted, she wants to get tested. And Peter said he'll be back. Yeah, so guys, I can smell the brisket of the barbecue sauce. All of that, um, it's great. I'm telling you, this, this is a really great product. I recommend it. I recommend it. Um, it's fully cooked. All you have to do is warm it up. Add your favorite barbecue sauce, and you are good. You are good. What y'all got going on tonight? Oh, you thought somebody called you. You don't want to miss a business call, Peter. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So, I know a lot of you guys have all these fancy um, tools. Um, oh, yeah, that's right, Miss Full Roller. It's a pretest because it's it's actually it it actually worked for me. And then I went and got tested. But guess what I had to do? I had to add the gluten back into my body so that they could give me the test. But it was well worth it. I, and I'm grateful for having uh, very um, observant people around me because it was people in my path that suggested that I get tested for it because I had been tested for some of everything and wasn't none of it adding up. Um, they tested me for um, acid reflux, um, IBS, uh, Crohn's, uh, lupus, you name it. I was, I was, sometimes they would diagnose me with it, but I'm not the type that's quick to take medication. So I said, I'm going to just journal. I'm going to log everything that I eat, what time I eat it and everything. Miss Four Roller, no, I'm talking about already tasting the brisket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I cheated on y'all, Miss Four Roller. I, I cheated tonight. I did. I really did. Yeah. It, I have I have goals when it comes down to these products. You know, I got to bring you my honest review. <laughs> I have to bring my honest review, so I had to go on and test it. Yeah, I had to test it. But it's okay. I don't know. For some reason, I cannot open my own tablet. I don't like these passcodes. The passcode situation is messing with me. Oh, yeah. Whoo, it's going to be perfect, y'all. I cannot wait. And the potato salad. I can't wait. Whoo, I'm ready. I am ready. I'm so ready. Because I had a small amount of it, right? And the assistant had some too. You know, I can't test it if he don't test it. 
So, yeah. So this product is what I use to make the toast, uh, to toast the bread, and um, it's about to be, it's about to go down, okay? It is about to go down. Just wait. It is about to go down. Yep. It's perfect. Let's see. Yeah. It's, it, I mean, this is a super quick meal because you can have this potato salad pre-made. Or this potato salad could be left over from Sunday dinner, okay? And then just have that brisket go along with it. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So sometimes what I do is I'll go on and cut the oven off and just let whatever I have in there just stay in for a few more minutes. Peter Lefer, I only answer my parents' business calls and my friends and cousins. That's about it. Okay, Peter. That's awesome. I don't have any business right now, Peter. They got me out of work. I cannot wait to go back to work. And I, to be honest with you, I feel crazy answering my customers, telling them that I can't come to work. It feels so odd. I cannot wait for all this to be over so I can get back to normal. Guys, tonight I'm drinking green tea. I've had a lot of water, but I'm drinking green tea. It's pretty good. I added some cranberries to it. So, we're going to remove our brisket because it is ready, ready. Oh, it's ready. And we're going to let our toast go just a little bit longer. That's our brisket. Take our toast out. Take our toast. And it's just so perfect, guys. It's just enough. It's just enough. Because that's how I eat, guys. I don't cover my plate with food. Because like I said, I haven't always been able to sit down and eat exactly what I want. So what I do is I'm grateful for every time I eat. So I try not to overeat. And that's the potato salad. I love potato salad, so you'll see me eat quite a bit of potato salad. Yeah. That's it, guys. Yep, that's the potato salad be the difference. So, yeah, this is it, guys. That is the beef brisket with the sourdough toast. With the chamois, Chef Chamois butter, and the Sattler's Smokehouse beef brisket. That's it, guys. That is our meal. Quick, right? Yeah. You can make a quick meal. Mmm. Creamy. 
I like creamy potato salad, guys. I'm going to give you a bite. Want a bite? That's a bite of that brisket. That's good. It's delicious, guys. If you don't have a grill, this is the perfect product. Guys, this product, it is at Sam's Club. This is it. It's delicious. Go to your local Sam's Club and they always have it in stock. You will find yourself thinking you had a whole full-fledged grill up and going out there. I told you guys, I grill all the time. I do briskets. I do turkeys. I do all of that. But if I find it gluten-free and this can save you time and save you money, I will bring it to the channel. If it's not cost efficient, I will not show it on the channel. You may hear me talk about certain things, but if it's not cost efficient, you will not see me showing it on the channel because my goal is to bring you things Meals that take less time, where you can save money and still keep your diet. If that's a diabetic diet, that's a diet that includes a lot of vegetables. Whatever it is, I want you to manage your time and your money at the same time. As well as continue with improving your quality of life. That's the goal on this channel. We want to make sure... Learn to improve your quality of life. Thank you, Deborah. And guys, I love when I bite into the potato salad and it's so creamy and smooth. And the vegetables aren't all hard because we sauteed our vegetables. Peter Lanford, I have a grill. I just haven't been grilling lately because I made Make indoor food. Okay. Well, Peter, I am a fan of the grill. But if I don't have to labor over it, I won't. So, this was perfect. This was absolutely perfect. I'm so satisfied right now. And this makes great, great toast. Great garlic toast. This is the product that we reviewed. Awesome. They had they have um five to six different flavors, but they only had two today at Sam's. Peter Langford, oh, sorry, I didn't get to your comment on my cover video. I'm always busy. That's all right. It's awesome. I shared you out on Twitter and YouTube. Yep. Miguel Guy, I love to review products. I love to shop for products. Like, like shopping for shoes and purses. I love shopping for food products and equipment too. I love to buy small appliances to make my job easier, right? That's the goal. I never want to sacrifice flavor and I want to save time in the kitchen. Yup. And this toast is so good. If you guys have any um, 
If you have any dishes you would like to see me try here on the channel, any products that you've heard of, that you may have seen, or you may have in your area and I don't have here, let me know. I'll do my research and I'll try to bring it to the channel. That's my goal. I will try the products before you buy them. That's my goal. To try them before you buy them. That's right. I'm going to sleep good tonight, guys. <laughs> I'm going to sleep real good. <laughs> yes. If I may add, this meal right here is going to put me flat on my back. I've been trying to um, learn to sleep on my back because they say it's more healthy for you. But I'm having the time. We'll see. Oh, guys, on Wednesday, we are going to have trivia. And I'll be giving away some gift, a gift card or two. So get ready for Wednesday because we're going to do some trivia. Hey, hey, cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Welcome to the lab. Rico's was our food. Rico said, I would like for you to make a meatloaf pie. Really, Rico? Don't mess with me. I might just do that. <laughs> Rico, I'm not exactly sure. But I think meatloaf season has ended. <laughs> this poor roller said, hello, Rico. Yeah, Rico, I think meatloaf season has ended. I'm almost sure. The meatloaf season has ended, sir. But thank you for coming in. I appreciate it very, very much. I can taste the uh, the eggs in almost every fork for. I love a lot of eggs in my potato salad. Mm -hmm. I'm getting full, y'all. And I'm still not drinking anything cold. This tea is room temperature. Yep. Deborah's glad Tyler said, hey, Rico. Rico's Bizarre Food said, I can't read nobody chat because I'm half blind today. Oh, Rico. Get you some rest. Get you some rest. And that means staying away from that computer screen some. We appreciate you coming in. That was glad, Tyler. You making me want potato salad. <laughs> really? Well, you know you're welcome, sis. You know that you are welcome. Yeah, I hadn't had potato salad in a while. But I do believe meatloaf season is over, Rico. <laughs> uh, Peter Lamper, I drink hot chocolate every morning. Oh, really, Peter? Okay. I like cold, cold beverages, but I don't drink cold beverages when I eat. I will drink it an hour before I eat or an hour following my meal. Never with my meal. Because then my food does not digest properly. Um, it could be different for you. But for me, that's an issue that I have. Yeah, I told you. My, my stomach is a little different from most people's. So I have to do things that... Um, I have to overcompensate a lot. And I have to ask a lot of questions. I have to be on point. I can never be greedy because I have, I never have, you don't know what's in what. So I have to be very careful when I'm out. So I take a lot of uh, little knapsacks. Yeah. Peter Lanford, this morning, instead of hot chocolate, I made pancakes and sausage. Woo. That sounds good. 
A lot of mornings, I don't eat breakfast. And I know that's not good. I try to do uh, some celery and some almond butter or some uh, celery and peanut butter or some carrot celery and some uh, type of butter. But for full-fledged breakfast, I don't do a whole lot of that because I'm not working <laughs> and I don't have enough time to burn off all that energy and that food. So I do something light in the morning and I eat uh, maybe a little snack and then I eat some dinner and I try to eat it before I come on live. That's why I never eat a whole lot on live. Peter Lanford, you like almond milk? I love almond milk. And uh, lately I've branched out and started trying some different brands. Yeah. And I like the ones that's unsweetened, unsweetened almond milk. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Deborah's Glad Titan, are we going live tonight? Yeah, so I try to go with the unsweetened uh, almond milk. I love it. I mean, when I do certain uh, things, I like the vanilla, but most of the times I like the unsweetened. They also have unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Yeah. I appreciate each and every one of you guys hanging in with me tonight. Uh, this is my journey, and you're taking this journey along with me because each and every day that I wake up, I am on the path to keeping good gut health, and that comes with preparing my own meals, taking my supplements, and drinking lots of water. That's right. Peter said, I actually have... The sweet almond milk and it's good. The unsweet almond milk is good too. Yeah, it depends on what you're getting it, uh, uh, having it with. Okay, you get ready now, Deborah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so it depends on what you are eating. Uh, if you're eating something that's already sweet, you, the unsweetened is perfect. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people say, well, my kids need to do almond milk because whole milk they can't hold it down, but I can't get them to drink it. If you get the original um, and you get the vanilla flavor, I guarantee you they'll drink it. <laughs> Start them off with that. Ease it in. And you can reel them in. I promise you, they'll love it. They'll love it. Yep. Um, it is a lot of um, changes that I had to make so that I could change my lifestyle and improve my gut health. And it took a whole lot. So if you're here tonight and you have, if you've been told you need to change your diet and it'll improve your, improve your lifestyle, I'm here to encourage you to do that. Um, it wasn't easy. And there were times where it was kind of hard for me. It was times where I messed up, but I had to get back on the right track and Mentally, I had to focus so that I can get my health in check. You want to get in front of your health so that you won't have so many issues. Uh, Peter said, I had a milkshake. I put an unsweetened almond milk in it, and it's still good once you get used to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, like, just say, for instance, in your milkshake, you have your fruit and all of those things combined. All of those things combined will give it the flavor that it needs. It. And you could, I mean, we don't have to have sugar and have so much sugar in everything that we have. Yeah, sugar is a bad, bad culprit if you overdo it. Do whatever you do in moderation. And sometimes you need to get used to doing something different if it's going to be something that improves your health. You know, everybody don't have health issues. We're not talking about those people, but you can also do it in moderations to prevent health issues, you know? So I want to give an encouraging word. I want to say to that person who thought that it was a shame when they told them they had to give up whatever it is, they had to give it up. Get on the right track to get in front of your health. Get in front of your health so that you won't be telling the shoulda, coulda, woulda story. That's right, Miss Four Four Roller. Eat to live, not live to eat. That's right. That's right. 
That's exactly right. Um, and I tell you what, um, if you want to get nutrients from your food, you want to get on the right track and eat more vegetables and less meat. Yeah, I eat meat, but I try to eat it in moderation. I try to only eat two ounces. Yeah, rather than eating a 16 ounce steak or 20 ounce steak, if I eat some steak, I'll cut that bad boy up into four sections and eat off of it. Oh yeah, I can actually share a steak with my husband, get him to slice me off a small piece of his and I'm good. Oh yeah, or I can go with all vegetables. It really doesn't matter. But if you want to do some, you need to do some vegetables and they don't always have to be cooked because you want to maintain the nutrients from your food. And uh, if you say you need, they said we need to get doses and doses of vitamin C and you may be allergic to citrus. However, um, the kiwi, the kiwi is packed with vitamin C. You can eat kiwi and obtain just as much vitamin C as you would from an orange. That's right, guys. So get in front of your health, guys. It is a slow process when you are trying to heal if you don't do the right thing. I know it took years for my gut to heal because I was told that I had to give up gluten. And I'm going to be honest with you, I did not do it right away. I didn't do it right away. But eventually, I had to do it because I didn't have a choice because uh, pain management, ah, it's a chore. It's a chore. So all I had to do is give up gluten, and I gave up my pain. That's it. Yep. Um, Peter Lanford, let's say if you put fruity pebbles in the bowl, you don't need the sweet almond milk. Put the unsweetened almond milk in it. That's right, Peter. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And guys, I used to be a cereal junkie, guys. I could eat a box of cereal a night. When I worked in the prison system, I would eat one full box of cereal every night. That's what I did for years. And now I don't touch cereal. <laughs> Hey, hey, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for cooking with me, chatting with me, and listening to my journey as I live my gluten-free lifestyle. I appreciate you guys. Uh, we are going to raid Deborah's Glad Tidy. Miss Full Roller has dropped the link to Deborah's Glad Tidy. We're going to go on over to Storytime. Deborah Glad Tidy does stories and she uses the YouTubers as characters in her stories. You've got to come. It's awesome, guys. Please, please, please tap the link that Miss Full Roller has dropped. Meet me at Deborah's Glad Tidy and say, GG's Ray. Thank you so much, Be the Difference. I thank you all for being here. I appreciate you. I don't take it lightly that you come here and listen to me and look at me and chat with me and eat with me. I appreciate you guys. If no one has told you to, before, you are beautiful inside and out. God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed evening. Gigi's Ray, Deborah's Glad Tidy. Peace out.